What's going on, guys? Excellent Shot X here from NTP, and I'm back again with our third and final character, at least for this moment, uh, from Attack on Titan. This is Armin. So this is the like the Brainiac guy. He's a strategist. That's what he's really, uh, really good at is uh, coming up with plans for things and figuring things out. He's kind of a coward when it comes to uh, fighting Titans and stuff. Other than that, he's on several occasions frozen in fear and uh, can't really do anything. He just doesn't know what to do. In fact, pretty much got Aaron killed uh, before when he was... he because he was being eaten, and then Aaron uh, jumped into the Titan's mouth and pulled him out, and that's when you uh, quote-unquote see him die and get eaten. But, you know, he turns into a Titan. That's when he finds out he's a Titan. <laughs> he turns into one, and then just starts, like, kicking people's faces in. So, yeah, so this is Armin... Like the uh, third friend, or uh, not really the third friend, but the uh, second friend here of uh, Aaron. They're all really close friends, the three of these guys, so I figured put them all back to back, put them all over here next to each other. Um, so yeah, I also have him in his like cadet uniform, so he is very, very similar to uh, Aaron, as you can see here. Because they're all wearing the same thing, uh, realistically, except, uh, you know, Mikasa right there. Otherwise, uh, him and Aaron are pretty much the same. So if you've made Aaron, which I'm assuming you might if you've seen the other two videos, then uh, yeah, so that's what we got here. But let's go ahead and jump into this now. Um, oh, and as usual, I'll have a link to the uh, the show in the description if you want to check it out. It's a good show. I ended up watching because people requested it. So um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll leave a link to it in, in the description if you haven't seen it. But um, I'm just assuming if you've already seen this, you have. Uh, you have watched it before, so let's get to the dimensions now. So the legs here are 8 by 4 by 12. The torso here is 8 by 4 by 12. The arms are attached to the line of the torso, and they are 4 by 4 by 12. And the head here is 8 by 8 by 8, with no head effect at all, as you can see here. Sorry, guys, I'm yawning. Ugh. Oh, my gosh. So, um, yes, those dimensions are linked by length height, and will be in the description. So, And, uh, as usual, I will have pictures in the plastic texture pack, so um, you can check it out if you want to. So let's get into the uh, dimensions and stuff here. So as for the legs, um, if you've watched the other videos, same colors as we used before. We have uh, uh, black stained clay, uh, white uh, spruce, wooden planks, and stone for like the uh, the boots and like the shorts or you know the pants and stuff, and then like all the straps and the buttons and stuff going around their legs. It's pretty complicated trying to design this, I'll admit. But um, I think it ended up uh, looking pretty good. So, yep, same thing, nothing really changes here. Uh, you know, all the black stained clay wraps around, you have the white, and then all the straps, which are the spruce wood, and the buttons and stuff for the stone. So, there is all of that. So here's the back of the legs. Um, same colors again, just uh, white, black stained clay, spruce wood planks, and stone. Uh, coming around here, oh, I guess I didn't mention it, <laughs> but this side of the legs is the exact same as this other side of the leg, so both sides are the same. So all you gotta do is uh, meet them across, and there you go. So moving on though now to the uh, front of the torso here. So his jacket, of course, is oak wind planks. The skin is birch wind planks. Uh, the shirt he's wearing is white. Uh, all the straps and stuff, of course, and the buttons, that's uh, spruce wood, or spruce wood planks, I should say, and uh, stone. He also has uh, some buttons on his shirt, which is uh, made of light gray. Also, the uh, the, the patch that's on his jacket um, is uh, actually snow, um, light gray, and brown. So, that is that. Moving over here to the, uh, the side of his arm. Cars, of course, the skin showing is birch wind planks for his hands, his jacket is uh, oak wind planks, and then the patch on the very shoulder of his uh, arm is uh, brown, uh, light gray, and white. So, coming over here to the back of him. Of course, the majority of him is oak wind planks again for the jacket. You have uh, his shirt showing on the inside there, which is white, and then the strap showing, of course, in the back of him, and like the belt and stuff, which is uh, spruce wind planks. And then you have the symbol on his back of the two swords crossing, because, you know, I did the cadet thing again. Not the scout uniform thing, but they're little cadet jackets. So, uh, 
the swords crossing the shield. It's not that great, but I think it came out looking pretty good. So, I um, mean, that's brown, white, snow, and light gray. Then this side... Sorry, I yawned again. <laughs> I'm sorry. So then uh, this side is, again, the same as uh, this side. So just mirror those right across and, like, copy them down. So, or if you have Aaron, just, like, copy the same shoulders and stuff, because they're wearing the same jacket. So, and now it's time for uh, Armin's face here. So, of course, his hair is uh, very blonde, so it's yellow. Uh, skin's uh, birch when planks, mouth is oak when planks. His eyes are a very big, like, he's, like, he's got very big blue eyes. So, he's got a cyan and light blue there, and the other half of his eyes are white. So, there's that. And then, like, literally, the rest of his head all the way around is yellow. Like, there's a little bit of skin showing right here. It is the same thing on the other side, where there's, there's just, like, this little bit of skin. But otherwise, I just made the rest of his head yellow all the way around. I didn't really know what else to do, because he's, his hair literally just, like, covers all of his head. You know, and then even the top of it here. So, I just made his hair yellow all the rest of the way around. I kind of like how he turned out, though. I think he came out looking great. The, the head, not so much. The body looks pretty good. But otherwise, yeah, I just made I just made it yellow all the way around. So, yeah. But then after you finish this, you fill it all in. Um, that is it. So, uh, then you're done with Armin. But, um, yes, if you guys have any requests for other animes, definitely let us know in the, uh, in the comments. Um, like I should have mentioned, this uh, Attack on Titans was a request from people in the past, and, uh, you know, we did it. I actually ended up watching the show, and I kind of like it. <laughs> I gave it, like, a eh, 6, 7 out of 10. It's pretty good. It's all right. Different from what I usually watch, and I can see why a lot of people like it. It's pretty cool. The the intro song is definitely the best. It's freaking awesome. But, uh, <laughs> so, but, uh, if you have any other requests for other skins or animes from, you know, shows and stuff, uh, let us know. And uh, we will look through the comments, see what people want, and we'll make it, more or less. So, and it also it goes for YouTubers and skins and mobs and all that good stuff. So definitely let us know, and we'll, you know, go through all that. So, but thank you guys for watching, and as always, I will see you for the next one.